if I told you there are ticking time bombs hidden beneath the Earth's surface? Giants that haven't erupted in decades, centuries, or even longer, but are showing signs they could blow tomorrow. These volcanoes don't just pose a local threat, some of them have the power to wipe entire cities off the map in minutes. And the scariest part? In many cases, people are still living right next to them. These are volcanoes that could erupt tomorrow and change the world forever. Everyone remembers the story of Pompeii, the ancient Roman city that was buried under ash and rock in just hours. But what most people don't realize is that Mount Vesuvius is still very much alive and even more dangerous today. The volcano is located just outside of Naples, one of the most densely populated cities in Europe, with over 3 million people living nearby. The last eruption happened in 1944 during World War II, but since then seismic activity has been rising and gas emissions have been increasing. Scientists say Vesuvius is overdue for another major eruption. The real concern is how little time the surrounding population would have to evacuate. The region is so close to the crater that even a few hours notice might not be enough. Emergency planners already have evacuation routes mapped out, but in reality traffic, congestion, and panic could slow everything to a crawl. If Vesuvius were to erupt tomorrow with the same force as it did in 79 AD, Naples could suffer massive destruction and history could repeat itself on an even more horrifying scale. When people think of Yellowstone National Park, they picture geysers, hot springs, and beautiful wildlife. But hidden underneath all of that natural beauty is one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes on the planet. The Yellowstone caldera isn't your average volcano. It is a massive underground magma chamber that stretches across several states. The last time it erupted over 600,000 years ago, it reshaped the entire continent. If it were to erupt today, experts believe the blast would cover most of the United States in a layer of volcanic ash. Crops would fail, transportation would grind to a halt, and the global climate could be affected for years. What's more unsettling is that scientists have detected rise ground levels, unusual seismic activity, and increased gas emissions over the last two decades. While there's no official prediction that an eruption is imminent, the potential consequences are so severe that Yellowstone is constantly being monitored. A surprise eruption could throw the entire world into chaos. Mount Rainier is one of the most breathtaking mountains in the Pacific Northwest, but beneath that beauty lies a deadly threat that few people in Seattle and Tacoma think about out on a daily basis. Rainier is not only an active volcano, but it's also covered in glaciers. This combination is extremely dangerous. If the volcano erupts, the heat from the magma could instantly melt the glaciers and send massive lahars rushing down the mountain. Lahars are essentially rivers of mud, rock, and ash that can flow faster than a car and bury entire towns in their path. Rainier has erupted in the past, but the area's population has grown rapidly since then. Millions of people now live within range of a possible eruption. Emergency services have done extensive planning, but even with preparation, a fast-moving lahar could devastate communities with almost no warning. Some experts believe Rainier could be the most dangerous volcano in the United States if it erupts under the right conditions. This is the volcano that rewrites everything you thought you knew about lava. Most people assume lava flows are slow and easy to outrun, but mountaineering Gongo doesn't play by those rules. In 2002, the volcano erupted and sent lava flowing into the city of Goma at speeds close to 60 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough to overtake cars and destroy buildings in just minutes. Over 400,000 people had to evacuate in a panic and entire neighborhoods were wiped out. The reason the lava moves so quickly is due to its low silicon content, which makes it unusually fluid. Even scarier, this volcano has one of the largest and most active lava lakes in the world. It is constantly churning, rising, and occasionally spilling over. In 2021, it erupted again without warning and thousands were displaced. Scientists now believe the risk of a larger eruption is growing, and if the lava lake drains suddenly or if there's a major quake, Goma could be hit again, and this time, 
even faster. Tal might look like a serene island inside of a lake, but it is anything but calm. It's actually one of the most unpredictable and dangerous volcanoes in the world. In January 2020, Tal erupted with almost no warning. Ash shot over 14 kilometers into the sky, and more than 300,000 people were forced to evacuate. The eruption caused widespread panic, it closed airports, and sent volcanic lightning streaking through the sky. But that was just a warning shot. What makes Tal especially terrifying is its geography. The volcano sits in the middle of a lake, and underneath that lake is more magma. If a future eruption causes water to mix with lava, it could trigger a massive explosion. That would send ash and debris across Luzon, the most populous island in the Philippines. Manila, a city with over 13 million people, lies just 50 kilometers away. If Tal erupts again with full force, it could affect tens of millions of people and bring the region to a complete halt. Most people focus on Mount Vesuvius when they think of volcanoes near Naples. Fair enough, Pompeii is one of the most famous volcano eruptions ever, but there's something even more dangerous lying just to the west. A massive super volcano known as Campi Flegrei. Unlike a traditional volcano, this one is a giant underground system of magma and gas chambers stretching under the Bay of Naples. It hasn't erupted in nearly 500 years, but that doesn't mean it's dormant. In fact, the ground in the area has been rising steadily, a phenomenon known as bradyseism. This usually signals that magma is shifting below the surface. In recent years, the region has experienced increased seismic activity, gas emissions, and even small tremors. In 2023, the Italian government raised the alert level and began preparing nearby towns for potential evacuation. If this volcano erupts fully, it could produce pyroclastic flows that reach far beyond Naples. The eruption could be so large that it affects the global climate, and some scientists believe it may be in the early stages of reawakening, and that makes it one of the most closely watched volcanoes on Earth. Imagine being a volcano scientist, that would be so cool and spooky. Known as El Popo by locals, this volcano is not just active. It is constantly grumbling. This volcano is located just 70 kilometers away from Mexico City, one of the largest cities in the world with over 20 million residents. In the past few years, the volcano has been spewing ash, gas, and small explosions almost weekly. In early 2023, eruptions forced the closure of schools, disrupted flights, and triggered national evacuation drills. The volcano is clearly restless, and experts believe that pressure is continuing to build within its magma chamber. The real concern is that this volcano is a stratovolcano, meaning it can erupt explosively without much warning at all. And since Mexico City sits in a valley surrounded by mountains, volcanic ash could linger in the air for days, causing respiratory problems and choking infrastructure. If a major eruption were to happen tomorrow, the response time would be critical. Millions would be at risk from falling ash, lava flows, and pyroclastic surges. And the city's sheer size could make evacuation nearly impossible. Mount Fuji might be the most iconic volcano in the world. Tourists climb it every year. It's on postcards, paintings, and even currency. But what people often forget is that it is also a volcano that has been dormant for over 300 years, and some scientists believe it's due for a comeback. The last major eruption occurred in 1707 when ash from the Hoi eruption blanketed parts of Tokyo. Since then, the region has seen multiple earthquakes, including a massive one in 2011, which some believe may have increased pressure within the Fuji magma chamber. If this guy were to erupt again today, the consequences would be staggering. Tokyo, home to over 37 million people in the metro area, could be showered with ash. Transportation would stop, air travel would be grounded, and supply chains across Japan could be disrupted in an instant. Mount Fuji is monitored constantly by Japanese geologists, but with seismic activity on the rise, the question is no longer if it will erupt again, but when. Mount Merapi is not just Indonesia's most active volcano, it's one of the most dangerous in the entire world. Located on the 
island of Java, it is surrounded by over 4 million people. It erupts frequently and violently. In 2010, a series of eruptions killed over 350 people and forced the evacuation of nearly half a million residents. Entire villages were buried under pyroclastic flows and ash, and the devastation took months to recover from. Since then, this volcano has remained active. Lava domes have been forming inside its crater, and scientists worry that these domes could collapse, triggering another deadly explosion. The volcano is currently under high surveillance, but its unpredictable nature makes it difficult to prepare for. With so many people living nearby, even a moderate eruption could result in a large-scale disaster. The next big one could be just around the corner. In 2021, the Cumbre Vieja volcano on La Palma erupted for the first time in 50 years, destroying thousands of homes and forcing thousands more to evacuate. But that might not be the most terrifying part of the story. Scientists have long theorized that a future eruption on La Palma could trigger a massive landslide. If a large enough chunk of the island's western flank collapses into the Atlantic Ocean, it could generate a mega tsunami. This wave could travel across the ocean and hit the east coast of the Americas in under eight hours. The idea sounds like something out of a disaster movie, but several geological studies suggest it is a real possibility. While the 2021 eruption didn't cause the landslide, it did reshape the terrain in ways that raise new concerns. If Cumbre Veja erupts again with greater intensity, the island could experience a catastrophic collapse, and the resulting tsunami could devastate cities from New York to Miami. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye.